is the song that put Mori Kante's music onto dance floors and his name onto charts across the world. Yeke Yeke, a hit in 1987, was Africa's first single to sell over a million copies and was a bestseller across Europe. It was also a source of musical inspiration in Bollywood films. Mori Kante was one of West Africa's most successful musical pioneers and thousands defied coronavirus restrictions in Guinea's capital to pay tribute. A legend never dies. A legend like Mori Kante is applauded now, the way he has always been applauded and cheered. Kante passed away on Friday, aged 70. He'd had ongoing health issues and because of coronavirus restrictions was unable to travel to France for regular treatment. His family and the culture minister quashed rumours that he had COVID-19. On behalf of President Alpha Conde and his government, we're informing you that Mori Kante did not die from COVID-19. This is important to know. One of 38 children, Mori Kante was born to a famous Guinea family of musicians and storytellers known as Griot. He was sent to Mali aged just seven and later became a distinguished choral harp player. Nicknamed the electronic Griot, he mixed traditional instruments with unique modern sounds he created and took inspiration from his Mandigo culture, Muslim faith and even Cuban music. <laughs> In the 1970s, he joined Mali's legendary group, the Rail Band of Bamako. It launched his career and that of another musical giant, Salif Keita. Mori Kante was also a goodwill ambassador for several humanitarian projects, helping refugees and co-creating the 2014 Africa Stop Ebola song during the epidemic that killed more than 11,000 people. For decades, Mori Kante was a source of inspiration to many and will be remembered for building a global audience for music rooted in West Africa. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.